Guys, do you get annoyed whenever you are playing against these players that hit these kind of like perfect gloves, they make you move, they get you off balance all the time and they make you hit those uncomfortable balls? Well, today I brought an expert for you to explain you how to hit the perfect glove and how to take advantage of that so you can start making the other one hit uncomfortable and start getting control of your points. So, we're here today with Fred Robinson. He came to us, he's an amazing tennis player. He has won several 65 and over national championships. He just got into the North Carolina Tennis Hall of Fame, so congrats, that's pretty amazing. So, I'm gonna give him the mic now. He's gonna explain you exactly what he's gonna work on, how to hit the perfect glove, and he's gonna also talk you a little bit about his brand, Body Helix, because this is a brand that has the best uh, compression sleeves on the market for all those tennis players that have problems either with tennis elbow, knee or ankles, whatever, and he's going to explain you a little bit about his brand, okay? So I'm going to give him the mic now and he's going to take control now. Hi everyone, I'm Fred Robinson with Team Body Helix and I'm delighted to be a guest of the guys today here with Time Value of Tennis. I'd like to share a couple of tips with you and help you become a genius on the court. It's really not that difficult. We're going to make assumptions uh, that are based on years of playing and what I want to share with you today in doubles, and I think most of you are playing doubles, is if you're playing two right-handers, usually the case, and they're going out on the court, the player that's playing on this side in the deuce court, usually they have the bigger forehand. The player that's playing on this side usually has a bigger backhand. Not always, but it's usually the case. So once we get into a match, what we really want to do is we want to figure out a way to, hey, the strength is their forehand, I need them to be hitting as many backhands as possible. That's an obvious. This player, their strength is their backhand, I need to put them over on the forehand side. So we're going to do a few drills and we're going to show you things that you've seen that will help you uh, put them in awkward positions, make them play out of their weakness. One of the first things we'll do is when that player over there in the deuce court is serving to you, we're going to use a lob. We're going to lob over the net player. Why do we lob over the net player? Because the player who has served, we've just said, normally has a stronger forehand. When they serve, we want them to move over to the backhand side and have to handle a ball way up high. If they have to handle up a ball up high, you're in a very good position. That's a standard play. Uh, so you might say, well, coach, how often, we do, how often do we do this? And my answer would be, how often is their backhand weaker than their forehand? All the time. I just spoke with a team and I asked them about this tactic and they said, yeah, it worked really well. And I asked, well, how many times did you do it? And they said, well, we tried it three times and it worked really well. Well, how long was your match? Well, it was about three hours. My suggestion is we might want to implement this play more than three times. How many times will we implement it? every single time that their backhand is weaker than their forehand. One of the things that goes on in a match is we have these unwritten rules and it might be, well, I don't know if I should do that because it might not be popular. I came out on the court to win the match. I'm going to put you in that position as often as I can. That's my goal. So uh, the guys and I are going to do a little play. You'll see it's very uh, easy to do this and we'll put this into practice for you so you can see it. So as we work into the technique of this player hitting a lob, I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, a method that is a simple way to hit a lob. If you're a beginning or intermediate player, you might find trying to hit topspin lobs is fairly complicated and it's for the pros. What works for me? How can I control the lob, get it over their head, and do it consistently? And one of the techniques that we're going to use is how to use a volley back here on the baseline. I, I said volley, that's right, not, not ground stroke. So we'll do a drill where uh, they're serving and I'm simply going to use a volley and lob the ball over their head instead of trying to hit a full stroke top spin lob.
can see on the return to serve when we're trying to hit a lob, what I was doing as an example in there is I was not trying to hit a big top spin ground stroke lob, fast lob over the head. All I am doing is getting into the ready position, taking a little bounce, and just volleying the ball and popping it up over their head. It doesn't have to be great because as you know, a lot of the people that you're playing against, as soon as you throw a ball up in the, over their head, what are they going to do? They're going to yell this thing out. It's called yours and they're going to duck and run to the other side so the lobs don't have to be that great when you're playing these guys if you're throwing up a lob like that you need to duck after you do it it's not going to happen for the most of the opponents that you have so again it's not a full ground stroke it's simply on the return a little bounce volley the ball or volley the ball and just pop it over the head take it easy you can control that ball and you can get it in most of the time you'll win a lot of points Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Fred, he came to us today. He took part of his day to record a few videos with us. Now, before you get out, you can go to a comment below, check out, we have the Body Helix website. They have the best compression equipment on the market. There are so many professional athletes, not only in tennis, also baseball and football that use this equipment to play. So go check it out. And you can also follow Fred. He is gonna start a YouTube channel right now, so go. Find him on YouTube and you can also find Buddy Helix on Facebook and Instagram, okay? So I hope this video helped you out and we'll see you on the next video. Now, before you get out, you can go check out to the comment below. We have a link with the, uh, with the Buddy Helix. Okay, they have the best compression. Uh, oh!